Welcome back to Open Everyone. Everything's soulful. Ooh, yeah. So it's an online experience, that is, and it's a shop filled with knowledge of healing modalities ranging from food recipes to stones and aromatherapy to soothe the mind body and soul. Each item possesses healing properties, symbolism, and mysticism inspired by Mother Nature's elements. And joining us to tell us more, we welcome Everything Soulful founder, Joanne Jimenez. Hello okay. and welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome, Thank sister. You. We are so excited to have you here. And oh, please do share how Everything Soulful even came about. Uh, initially, I wanted to share my own healing for myself with everyone. Um, this is the kind of stuff that I've been doing for a long time just to bring peace to myself. Um, I was diagnosed with uh, rheumatoid arthritis like 10 years ago. So my doctor said one of the first things you have to do is just relax because the rheumatoid was brought about from emotional distress. Hmm. So whenever you're stressed out and you're holding stuff in, it can manifest itself into a disease. Um, so instead of taking pain medication, I wanted to just relax soothe my soul and just like relax my muscles. So I started to just burn oils, like burn um, lavender to relax, chamomile um, to help me go into some meditation, introducing me into yoga and just more like a Zen space. Right, and it's, um, and it's important, right? And yeah. I'm glad you're even opening up in this manner because I, at least here in Open, we always try to share with our viewers that there's ways to prevent instead of like just resorting to being diagnosed by a yeah. doctor and then uh, just being complacent with taking medication. There's other means and other modalities that can be used as an alternative, right? And so here we have some rocks, right? We have stones. We have crystals. Uh -huh. We have crystals and we have aromatherapy and we also have some herbs. So can we begin by, I guess, discussing the amethyst? Because okay. Because I think most people are familiar with amethyst. Yeah, just basically, um, this is something that we've been doing for a very long time. If you remember when we were little, you probably already saw an amethyst at home somewhere. Um, and it brings peace, harmony, meditation. Um, and basically what I did was I p infused an oil called Bliss that has lavender and chamomile and sandalwood, which is very relaxing and soothing, which is I'm burning now with vanilla. Is that the energy I'm feeling? Because I was like, woo, <laughs> I feel something that just like yeah. really like fusing in the, in the space yeah. and the energy. So, so, uh, mm -hmm. so it's basically, it's meditation. It's the stone of meditation and peace. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is I've infused essential oils, which is combining aromatherapy with crystal healing. And so I've, I've infused it into the solution. And I also have sprays in case you can't burn. So what you do is you just spray it and basically it just changes the vibe. Oh, it brings wow, peace and tranquility. So wonderful. Yeah. And so just to be clear with everyone, let's just show them what you mean by burning in okay. case they don't know. So here oh. we have an oil burner. It's a soapstone burner from India. I recommend soapstone and not glass because it burns the oil much easier. So you just put a little tea light in here, put a couple of drops, put some water in it. And as you can see, it just brings a very soothing. I just want to show that to everybody. Yeah. Look, you see you burn the tea light yep. and then the oil is on top. And so it's we have the roller, which you can put on your pressure points. We're like a human diffuser. Everywhere where you put the oil where your veins are, naturally it heats up the oil and it evaporates. So we're like a human diffuser. Here, I have it in a dropper, which you put it in the oil burner so that you can smell that. And then I also have it in a spritzer in case you're at work and you're feeling stressed out and you just want to kind of just spritz it out. Nice. So and each one represents a, a different energy, right? Yes. So I, I did want to show before we move on to sharing more details that you yeah. also have these wonderful... Amulets. Amulets. Yep. That are so beautiful. And it just seems that you have a, a collection, right? So yes. it's like you have the stone, the aromatherapy, and then the amulet so that you can wear it with you, right? Giving a shout out to my friend, uh, my sister friend, Jasmine Gonzalez. She wraps them. These are amulets, and we put them on sandalwood beads, bringing in the Asian tradition of mala beads. Um, they, they, they use mala beads, they put sandal wood and mala beads because they bring about a very soothing, relaxing, meditative um, vibe. 
So we're combining here the amethyst with sandalwood just to bring about a very calming sense. Now, you know, I would love to talk about every single item we have on this table, but I wanna make sure that everybody gets and has an idea of all of the different components right. that you offer online that is at, uh, at your fingertips, literally at your fingertips, and what they're used for. And so I remember us having a conversation about yeah. an asabache, so yes. let's share a little bit yes. about that. So this is a black tourmaline. Uh, normally, when we were little, in the Afro-Caribbean culture, they would latch on a little bracelet on you with um, mano de azabache. Uh, in Brazil, they call it the figa, which is for protection. And they were originally made of black tourmaline, which absorbs negative energy. That was the inspiration for me to put it into the protection oil, which you see here. Um, so these are little pieces of black tourmaline in here. Beautiful. And then we have the herbs. Yes. Right? These are for burning. Uh, this one, we were talking about uh, lavender and chamomile, which is relaxing. Right. So here they are in herb form. Mm -hmm. You can actually burn them as well. I just want to say the important thing about burning and scents is when you inhale something, it travels into your lungs and it goes into the brain. And in turn, that affects how you feel. Uh, your emotions, your heart rate, your blood pressure, um, your stress level, your memory. So we're used to ingesting herbs to make us feel better, right. but you can also smell it and it travels to the brain faster and it affects the way that you feel internally. Beautiful, thank you for sharing mm -hmm. that, right? And so, uh, and just to kind of piggyback off of what she's saying, like when it comes to the stones, the stones actually create a nice energy in your space. And then of course, when you wear them, you're carrying that yes. energy with you. And um, in, in closing, we're gonna yes. talk about the ointment, right? Because oh, there's yeah. that component of right. healing as well. Yes. So basically the line is a celebration, is a celebration of our ancestors and all of the things that we were brought up with. And just simply, fermenting herbs is a very old school thing. This is um, chili pepper leaves, coffee leaves, um, ginger, cinnamon, all fermented in bay rum, bringing out the healing properties of all the herbs. So this is one of the first things that I uh, started working with for myself, for my own RA. Right, that's and why we're coming full yeah. circle because this is what inspired this collection yeah. and um, this assisted you, right? Yeah, it definitely did. Where and are it's you a, now with your RA? Um, I'm actually in a better, much better place, no pain medication. Um, my medications went down. Um, my doctor doesn't understand. She says my, my level of RA is as if I'm 75 years old, but yet I'm jumping around and moving around like I'm okay. And it's because of natural herbs. Um, not just pushing this line, but I, I just wanna tell everyone, just find natural ways of healing yourself. Whenever they medicate, anything to you, look at the side effects of everything, Wait, but don't also- don't put that away yet. <laughs> okay, but no, also because, try to- Well, because I wanted yeah. to ask you a question regarding yeah. like a carpal tunnel syndrome, right? Because mm. you're referencing rheumatoid arthritis, but um, not that I have, because I, I it kind of gave it a name, I wish I didn't, but the, there's that constant using the computer and the mouse and um, I've actually had to invest in getting hand massages regularly just to alleviate my hand. Mm -hmm. So is that also good for that? Absolutely, this is good for muscle tension, for pain. It's actually good for asthma, respiratory issues, but it has anti-inflammatory uh, anti ingredients in here like ginger um, that yeah. help. Yeah, of course. And the cute thing is that it comes in a roll-on. Remember how the alcoholado, the old school, it came in a bottle and it was really messy. Right. You yeah, had to break out the like towel. This, and and like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is like an on-the-go, on-the-go natural medicine. Yeah, and for also pain. used in moderation because yes. it's a roll-on, so you're not overdoing it. Exactly. So it has sage. It has arnica. Oh, so, so delicious and so natural. Thank you. Yes. Well, I'm not. I'm not inventing anything. This is passed on from our ancestors. I just put a little bit of flair into it of my own and you know like i said this is just a celebration of our culture the point of this is self-love is to encourage people to love themselves to spend the time finding things to heal themselves to make themselves happy and by way of that the stronger that we become the better that we are absolutely yeah. and it's all there yeah. mother nature provided it and thank you for coming here and thank sharing you it so with much. us thank Woo! you yes love that <laughs> you, you guys once again to learn more and shop for some unique items please visit everything soulfulshop.com we are going to take a quick break but when we return we're going to find out about the bronx arts ensemble upcoming performance don't go anywhere lovely